on the lawn where we will have good food, fun, and fellowship. This will be an event you don't want to miss. For additional information, you can call 732-549-8941. Go to our website at nhbchurch.com. Okay, we're back. We're back today, and um, I think Denise, you wanted to finish. Yes, and I just wanted to say, if that was addressed at a young age, at the age of five, um, it would have helped you at the age of ten, because if you would have told someone, if your parents would have told you that it's wrong for another man or another little boy to touch you or to play with you, or even for you to play with yourself, then... When it happened to you at the age of 10, you would identify with it. You would have went and had confidence. My mother or my father already told me about this. You go and tell them, and then they would have been in a place or position where they could have helped you. But because of not knowing yourself and not being able to make a righteous decision or even a proper decision, um, it took you to another level and it took you into more of a homosexual state than in a state where your parents could have gave you direction because I'm sure that your parents would have loved to have known at the age of 10 what happened to their son and then gave you direction and helped you through that instead of hiding like um, Reverend Zacharias said reading books and hiding we, because, you know, we have to stop hiding things because you know and, and, and that is the truth because mm -hmm. You know, um, I found out about sex basically, you know, through friends and through books, you know, right. things that you learn and stuff of that nature. It never really was explained to me. Exactly. And had it been explained to me at a young age, I would have known right. the whole thing. Are you in a relationship at this time? And introduce yourself again to the people. Okay, once again, my name is Dorian Sen Delmarie Sanderson. And yes, I'm in a relationship right now. Um, um, she's a woman of God, sure. and she's blessed, she's beautiful, and soon, we're probably going to get married. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you said that one, at one time you backslide. Yes. Now, were you in Christ at the time? Yes, I was in Christ at the time. Um, the um, backslid happened because of undealt with issues. Okay. You know, um, I was still dealing with the lust, and I was still... Um, trying to instead of turning it over to Jesus mm -hmm. and letting him take it out of me and help me to deal with it I was dealing with it on my own um, not talking to um, the body of Christ meaning like my church members and family and just letting them know you know the issues I'm struggling with um, to so they can give me godly counsel godly direction so because of that it caused me to backslid and um, I backslid out, out of church for at least a year and a half. Okay. And once I remember the promises of God, you know, I, I told God that I still want those promises. Sure. Therefore, the relationship that I was in at that time broke, and I, I, he made a way of escape from me, and I came back into the church. Now, what about in terms of relationship? Are you getting support from your family? Um, yes, I do. Um, support from my family, my church family. Um, everyone is in support of me. Well, what about in terms of the mate? I mean, the young lady that you with, is she getting the same support? Yes, she's getting the same support. She knows everything that I've been through. But is her family supportive of you and her in relationship? Yes. Oh, they are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, they know what my background was, um, where I came from, the things that I used to do, and as well as she knows it. Sure. And the most important thing is that she knows it, and she accepts me. And, you know, knowing what I've been through, what I came out of, um, she loves me anyhow. Okay, that's a good thing. That's good, that's good. And is this your first relationship outside, out, out of the, the lifestyle? Yes. And uh, you don't think that you need any more? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's another topic. That's another okay. topic. <laughs> no, I, I, I believe that she's the one for me, I, and I can't imagine myself being with anybody else. Wow. wow. So is this the first female relationship you've been in? Yes. Wow. 
okay, so it's like brand new to the whole thing. Right? But he has dated before. Yeah, I, I have, I have <laughs> dated before, you know, um, but because of that person was not in the church, sure. um, it would not have been compatible for me. So the one that I'm with now, she is in the church. She is a woman of God. Um, and I can't picture myself being with anybody else other okay. than her. All right, okay. So is there any um, thing that you would like to perhaps tell anyone else that maybe is experiencing some kind of form of uh, sexual uh, uh, thing? Um, molestation from others that uh, that could help them that they will not shrink that way because it's not them because mm -hmm. a lot of times what happened I was talking to a young lady a few months ago and she was wanting to pray for her girlfriend and I prayed and prayed you know for her girlfriend and girlfriend going through pain in her relationships and I you know and you know it was during a trying time and I said you know sometime that uh, you know, people stay where they believe they should be. Mm -hmm. You understand me? You know, what I mean? if you're on a job and that job paying you two dollars an hour, and there's another job around the corner that's paying you thirteen dollars an hour, and you you know, it's up to you. You stay with the two dollars or go. You know, so a lot of people stay where they think they should be. How can you be of help and God use you as a tool to help those that might have went through that and? And they didn't cause it. Someone else had a big idea caused it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how can, what can you say here that can redirect them at this moment? Okay. Um, first, um, if you want change in your life, there's going to be pain. But through the pain, you begin to grow. No, 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 no. And, no. What I mean is okay. this here is that, okay, not, not the change part. Mm -hmm. We kind of got that. I'm talking about the idea that when someone molests you, mm -hmm. somehow you believe that that should have been the road that you should have taken in terms okay. of love and things of that nature. Because okay. it may, like 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 what Dean said, you know, that's why it's important that we uh, talk to the people so kids that they can know. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? That's right. You know, and if you don't know, you can go into something. I even heard Oprah's, Oprah Winfrey mm -hmm. saying that she was uh, molested and she didn't even realize it. You know what I mean? She right. she was. You know, she actively was a part of one of her relatives. She thought that's what she, you know she was supposed to do. You think it's right. You think it's right. So how how can you listen? I mean, how can you be used as an instrument to someone that that's young that's going through that, or that have went through it and said, you know, this is my the road instead of the road that you've chosen at this time. Okay. Um. Really, I can only like minister unto the, um, them the word of God. Okay. You know, as far as like what the word of God says about them, you know, because at that point in time, I know that they're probably feeling defeated or not even knowing the the real way because of somebody else's teaching. Okay. As far as like this is what you're supposed to do, um, but because of that and them not like really knowing any better then I can only minister the word of God unto them as far as to like what the word says, who they are, that they're more than a conqueror. And that. Well, let me ask you this for him. Normally when a person goes through transformation and goes through a healing, mm -hmm. the place a lot of times where they got actually healed is not where they started the healing at. Mm -hmm. Decided that, you know, I'm, I'm going to start this journey of healing, you know. Mm -hmm. Was there other churches that you went to? Was there other places before you got to the church that you're at now where you have made, you know, you say, you know, there had to be something inside of you that was that, that kept saying, you know what, this isn't for me. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, are you talking about before I got saved? Before or you got saved. Slid? Before you got saved. Before you got saved. Okay. Before because God saved. works, you know, yeah. Yeah. evolve you into, you yeah. know. Um, it was... What a, I really didn't go to any other churches. Okay. Um, I've been at my present church for at least like eight years. Now. Okay. So, it you were was, gay there then? You were before you, going to my church. No, why you were? Why was in my church? Yeah. No, I, I did give up the lifestyle when I um, was in my church, but so how long have you given up the lifestyle? How long has it been? In total years yeah. or years. before backslid? Um, it would had to be the time that I was in my church, but I would. Was going there for like about like six years. Okay. And then I backslid because still undealt with issues. Sure. Um, backslid for that year and a half, then went back, and been there ever since. Okay. Okay. And that's where I am today. Oh, all right. Okay. 
All right, let me ask you this right here. We're getting so close to, to the end of the show here. How do you deal with people that knew you when? You know, and try to hold you to that. Mm -hmm. um, well, there are still people that see the old me. Right. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's like, look at the new me. Right. You know, you cannot hold me to the things of the past. You know, although they know where I've been, but that's not where I'm at now. So my thing is, you have to look at me n now and point. not in my past. Sure, sure, sure. You know, sure. because you can't put new wine in old wineskins. Yes. You yes. know, so therefore, I say look at me now. But what if, what if they try to challenge you know, because people are, are yeah, cruel. People do challenge. They try to try to you know try to see. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. they hear you what you say, mm -hmm. but then they still may run around the corner, and while you going in your car, they're still trying to see. And mm -hmm. what do you do then? Have that happen? Um, I just live the life of Christ. No, but ha has ha has ha it happened? Yeah, has it happened? Um, people, I'm you know people do challenge, but as far as them challenging me, I don't focus on that. Okay. You know, I just live the life that of Christ. Sure. And when they see that, that's what they see. They see me living the life of Christ, not me living in my past. So that's what I'm walking Well, with. I believe anybody can do anything with Christ, you know, yes. a new vision and a new mind and, 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 and to uplift yourself. I, I don't think that there's nothing that you can't conquer. Mm -hmm. But again, I do know how cruel people can be. That's right. That's and right. they try to hold you to things, you yes. know what I mean? I've had people tried to hold me to the fact that years ago I didn't read. Right. But I said, well, you know what? I've been reading 20 years now, you know uh -huh. what I mean? That was years before. They're still trying to hold me, right. you know, but I, I let them know that you still back there. I've moved on, right. you see, academically. So I, 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 I understand, you know, today and we're going to bring you back because we're going to come up with some other topics and just talk about it, you know. Yes. So yes. many young people today are getting involved in, in the political process, and that's a wonderful thing. I tell you, this Barack Obama has really, really... Uh, uh, Shaking the whole thing up, isn't yes, it? yes, and it's a beautiful thing. And you know, uh, so many people running for mayor in Plainfield got white, black, Hispanic, Asian. Everybody was over there the other day <laughs> running. For, everybody got a, getting a, 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 a niche in this thing. Yes. So I guess we're gonna go out in the last thirty seconds as I say, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama. Keep hope alive. And you're Very good.